I think one thing that Mrs. Goldman demonstrated is you can make your own collection still and make your own avenue. She inherited the Constitution of the United States from her late husband, and she took that as a jumping off point to see how have other constitutions affected U.S. life. You can always find a new lens to look at America through, and I think Mrs. Goldman has achieved that with this collection. My name is Dorothy Tapper Goldman. I am a collector. I am a retired professor. I was a teacher of middle and upper school. I love collecting. I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, and I bought my first piece at auction when I was nine years old. Dorothy Goldman's collection is focused on the U.S. Constitution, and it's hard to get beyond that when a collection includes one of 11 surviving copies of the first printing of the final text of the Constitution. But in fact, there's much more to the collection, uh, more than 250 other items, in fact. Collecting became a passion because once I realized that there were many state constitutions out there from various periods of American history, I then decided that I needed to have at least one constitution from every state. The collection process itself has been one of the best educations in American history I have ever had, even though I've been a history buff my whole life. I inherited a lot of Americana from my late husband, Howard. The Constitution was first shown to me by him, and I remember saying to him, can I just touch it? Because I thought it was such an amazing document, which of course it is. I had no idea what it meant to collect constitutions. I knew there were state constitutions, but I didn't realize how important they actually were or how many versions there were of state constitutions. I have all the founding documents uh, from when this country began. And what I discovered is that uh, there are many state constitutions that you can collect. There are original constitutions from the early 1800s, pre-Civil War, during the Civil War, reconstruction constitutions. Well, the early state constitutions are so important because the people who wrote them were often then involved in writing the federal constitution. So from Virginia, you have Jefferson and Madison. From Pennsylvania, you have Benjamin Franklin. From New York, you have Alexander Hamilton. I approached the New York Historical Society about an exhibition. There were 42 items in the exhibit and they were mostly state constitutions. The exhibit was called Colonists, Citizens, and Constitutions. Ruth Bader Ginsburg has been exceedingly generous to me for many years. She provided me with a beautiful foreword for the catalog and was pleased to do so. And all I can say about her foreword is that it is perfection. All of the proceeds from the sale are going to the Dorothy Tapper Goldman Foundation, which she sees as promoting an understanding of and engagement with the Constitution. She really wants to go back to that idea of the involved citizenry. But I think going forward, she also wants to emphasize civics education, sort of K through 12 education, as well as great university scholarship. And I imagine that she envisions funding exhibitions, scholarship, teaching, anything that will make citizens realize this is their constitution. They can engage with it, they can read it, they can understand it. So what I hope for the future is that my foundation will go on and educate people further about their government, about the founding documents, and to understand where we come from and where we have yet to go.